Hello everyone, it's Carrie from Inky Bee Journals and Ephemera. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Now today, we are not doing a tutorial, but today I am going to share with you my first craft haul for this channel. Uh, now, none of these things that I have found are new. They are things that I have purchased from a local op shop in town. Uh, if you are not familiar with the term op shop, it is short for opportunity shop. And we use that term in Australia, meaning thrift store. So if you hear me use that term in this video or in any future videos, then you will know what I'm talking about. So what I have found is this is a little doily and I thought this would make a nice element in a design on the front of a journal. Alternatively, I can fold it in half, put it inside a journal and use it like a little fabric pocket. Now, one of the things I would like to do in the near future is make some journals that are of the Victorian era style. And so I wanted to look for some things that were lacy because I think that lacy things really go well with that sort of era. So I found this crochet doily and I will fold this in half and use that as uh, a journal cover. I'll wrap it around a journal cover and put some other things on top and make a nice design out of that. Now here is another crochet doily. The colour of the crochet cotton uh, reminds me a bit like a uh, coffee dyed uh, crochet. Uh, I have noticed that there is a few stains on here but I'm not worried too much about it because I probably won't use the whole piece in one go. Um, and if I did need to use a piece that had these stains, uh, I could probably put some embellishments over it so it's not really going to be not noticeable. Then I found this, which is a piece of window lace. And this is part of a cafe curtain. And again, I would use pieces of this lace as part of a design on a journal cover. Then I found this sketch pad and there's nothing on this cover here to indicate what the GSM of the paper is. But when I opened it and I had a feel of the paper. I thought it felt very much to me to be about the same GSM as your regular printer paper. So about 80 GSM, which I thought was just a nice weight for signature pages. And I thought I could take each of the pages out of this, fold them all in half. And when I looked at the half size of the page, I thought that would make a nice little journal size. So I will be making a little journal out of this paper. Then I came across this. Now, I'm sorry, you will probably find some glare coming off this. And for that, I do apologize. Um, this is one of those old photo albums. Uh, we don't find these too often in shops anymore I guess because people tend to store their photos by digital means these days uh, so they become 
bit of an old-fashioned thing to use now. Uh, you can still buy them online, but they're just a little bit difficult to find in the stores. I like to uh, grab them when I see them, go through them and just make sure there's no damage to any of the pages, where, particularly where the stitched lines are between them, because that's where they're most likely to tear. Uh, but this one is in great condition as far as that's concerned. So I grabbed this while I had the opportunity. Now, what will I use this for? I have a few others that I keep for ephemera storage and I need some more ephemera storage. So I grabbed this while I had the opportunity. And then I found a tub that had all of these brown paper bags there's a few different sizes here and a few different color tones here but I grabbed them all because these are the type of bags that we don't typically find in Australia or at least I've never seen them in the stores around here and I have been in this town for many 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 moons and I don't see these anywhere in the stores if I wanted to go online and buy them, yes, I could probably get them, but you just don't see them in the stores to buy. Uh, so these are the flat bottom ones, and these are the ones that have the gusset down the side here. Uh, but I grab them because if I don't, don't find them in the stores, I can't use them. Uh, what I grew up with is these type of ones that have no gusset in the side and the bottom is just folded over and glued down. This is the sort of thing my mum used to put my lunches in when I was at school. So when I found these, I grabbed them because I see a lot of tutorials where crafters are using these sorts of bags to make journal covers and pockets and even some ephemera ephemera pieces with them so I grabbed them while I had the chance then I came across this tub full of clear document protectors uh, now I have two different ones here these ones are protectors where you you put your paper in through here it's open at the side, it's open at the top, it's folded along this side and then at this end here it's actually sealed. Now I could use these as paper storage but then I also got to thinking I could turn it to the side, fold it in half and then I would have like a clear or uh, I've seen some crafters call them like a waterproof uh, journal cover um, and I can stitch my signatures into the side or should I say into the spine area and I've got pockets at the top on the front and the back uh, and with this open edge here what I could do is I can run this through my sewing machine and put a decorative stitch all around three edges except the open edge here and then fold it over and I'll have my pages bound in here and a decorative stitch in here and I can put something in the top pocket and the back pocket. So I had a couple of ideas on how to use these. Then I found this one. I I guess this is a, another uh, document holder. Um, the plastic is a little bit thicker than the other one uh, and it's more of an envelope shape. So it has this flap here that has a self-adhesive Velcro dot on there. And I thought, well, I can use this for 
paper storage but then I got to thinking again if I fold this in half and I can put my signatures in here I can have a clear cover and then on the front I could have this as like a front pocket so that's something to think about and then I came across this now I was really really glad to find this and I know it looks a bit old and a bit sad right now but something that crafters love to find is old old books that have natural discoloration from many 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 years and that is exactly what this old book has you can see this color of this paper is natural aging and that's exactly why I got it um, these bits of paper will be quite uh, brittle I should imagine um, but I am absolutely going to love using this this book has lots of old images in here um, of all sorts of little things and uh, basically this book is uh, it's a children's book and it's what we would consider a comedy book and I was reading this part about this fellow here Edward William Cole born Woodchurch Kent England 4th January 1832 died Essendon Victoria Australia 16th December 1918 so I guess this is the fellow who's written this book I think there is a second one in this series uh, and if I come across that anywhere I will grab that as well so I'm going to love using this book so uh, they're the things that I found at my local op shop I like to have a look around in the op shops and find things that I can use in my crafting um, both because, well, it keeps your craft supply uh, spending amount down and also because while I'm buying from opportunity shops, uh, I am feeling okay about doing it because uh, I'm recycling some things that have come from there, giving them a new life but I'm also uh, giving a donation to the charity uh, to help the community. So that makes me feel better about spending money in there. So if you like uh, what, if you like this uh, craft share, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can let you know when I upload future videos. Uh, and until then, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.